Uh, good evening, and um, hope everybody's good. Appreciate all of you being here at uh, 1030 at night, um, and uh, looking forward uh, to discussing this one today. Uh, I thought our guys did a great job of playing complimentary football. Uh, I thought what was fun about tonight's game is how uh, we were able to get stops and get scores and get stops and get scores. And uh, when you play together as a team, good things happen. Uh, and that was certainly, certainly there tonight. I thought the Zona Zoo was great. Uh, it was great that they were there till the end. Next week, we need everyone. We need that place to be packed. Uh, and uh, we are hoping that is the case. Uh, we want the best home field advantage we can have. That was a fun Pac-12 home opener for us. We were excited. Uh, as we've said numerous times, we're all about the build. We're all about just starting this thing the right way. We believe in the way we're doing it. We believe in our process of continuing to get better every day. I think today was an opportunity that we got better, but I know that we still have um, a long way to go to where we want to be. But uh, we'll continue to battle and work hard and practice hard and uh, see how good we can be. Most passing touchdowns in the game since 1982. What do you make of how Jaden played and how the offense got going? Well, Jaden played really well. There's no question about that. Um, he threw six touchdown passes. He, uh, I think he completed 70-something percent maybe of his passes. Uh, did not turn the ball over. Um, you know, the offense was clicking tonight. Uh, there's no question about it. We, I don't know, I don't know we had 600-something yards of offense. Um, and we had a chance there to score on the one. They stopped us. But the offense never, never flinched. You know, never flinch. You know, it was the first and goal on the three, and we didn't get in. And um, easily could have gotten stressed or missed a field goal at the end of the half. Could have gotten stressed. But I felt like the offense was very confident. But I also think our defense felt very confident that they were going to stop them. And uh, Tyler Loop went right back out there and banged that field goal through, and that was great. So uh, really excited about uh, the way the team played, complimentary football. But uh, I know that we have a way to go to where we want to be. Is this the best receiving core in the Pac-12? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not a general manager or a draft expert. Uh, I am just looking at our team. Uh, I believe that our team has good receivers, and uh, I really love coaching our team uh, of receivers. I think Kevin Cummings does an amazing job with our wideouts. Um, it is fun to watch Jacob Cowing and T-Mac and Dorian play. Um, as we reminded Jacob when he hit that number, the good part is next year. And this year together, you might have 5,000 when it's all said and done. Uh, no reason to rush out. So, uh, but Jacob is a really good player. Dorian's a really good player. Um, and we have a lot of young players that are really good as well. Obviously, T-Mac, we all know. But um, I'm excited about our batch right below them, too, that just uh, are, are playing at the number two spot. So we're, we're excited about our receivers. Were you all aware of the, the record? And did that factor into the, the play calling for the final draft? No, um, I did uh, the, the couple of balls that uh, Jaden threw in the final drive. I think he wanted to get to 500, and uh, that's okay. Um, and we were just playing normal offense, and there was a couple runs that we called that there was no way we were going to get a yard based on the defensive look that we got. So we always have a built-in run answer, and I think those were a couple of the times that he hit on that. Uh, I did want to get uh, cowing um, one more catch and um, see, see what he could do there. But, uh, you know, just, just excited about the way the kids played today. Really, they, they played really hard. They practice really hard. And we demand a lot of our players, uh, from school to weight room to training room to football. And I don't know if they get appreciated enough on how much we ask of them to do. So when they could have a night like this, it's pretty cool to see. Uh, Wiley had a great game. Um, I always tell him, I always forget to give him a game ball in the locker room. It's like this one. So I always just say, Wiley will get a game ball on Monday. It's kind of like, it's just an, uh, it's an asterisk. It's like, hey, you guys got a game ball, and then Wiley will get one on Monday when I remember to give it to him. Uh, I think he's at like 10 touchdowns in 11 games or 11 touchdowns in 10 games, whatever it might be. Uh, he's just continuing to do great things. Um, two pass catch touchdowns this week. So um, it was so cool to see it. And so cool to see how, uh, how he's responding. He is a, another, um, we talk about him all the time, right? Just he does, he's an everything, do everything right guy. You know, from the other school of business 
to being able to uh, do what he's been doing on the field. You know, you guys had what, almost 700 yards tonight. You had 400 yards in the first half, but it was still a two-score game at halftime, two-score game going into the fourth quarter. When did you feel comfortable or feel like you had it uh, on ice? With 39 seconds left in the game, when I told Jaden, you officially can take a knee. I never feel comfortable. I'm the worst. I am the worst when it comes to feeling comfortable during a game. Okay, so I've lived through the Michigan State Michigan game where we, with one second left, got a punt block for a 65 yard touchdown. I've lived through some crazy games. So for, for me, it's play football. Play football. We, we get 60 minutes and we get 12 opportunities. So I don't really like to think about what could the final outcome be other than let's just play ball and let's see how good we can be because our team is very young and we need reps and we need to get better. So we're, we're really not looking at the final outcome as much as we are the process of getting better. Why was Alex Lyons absent tonight? Uh, Alex is no longer on our team. Any particular reason why? I don't know. That's up to uh, him to disclose that. He's chose no longer to be on our team. Uh, the, uh, the defense played pretty well tonight, certainly better than last week. What will this do? from a confidence standpoint for them, do you think, moving forward? Uh, I was excited about our defense. Um, the way I thought they played with a lot of passion today. They uh, attacked the field with great passion. Um, they played really hard. And um, there, there's going to be missed tackles, and there's going to be plays that are made. Um, if you look at the Pac-12 and the quarterbacks in the Pac-12 right now, there's going to be a lot of plays. Uh, there's going to be a lot of offense in our in our conference right now. But defensively, if they keep battling and keep fighting um, and make plays, I was really proud of the way they just kept coming back for the next one, the next play, the next play, and um, really did a good job today. Johnny was able to get in a lot more of the, the younger guys. We saw them even in the first half. How important is it to be able to develop those? Yeah, that's a, that's a huge part of it. Uh, it was a huge emphasis um, for us to be able to say, can we expand the amount of players playing? Can we get more fresher bodies? Can we give Jacob Kangaika and Tai Tai? And I mean, there, I looked out there one time, I think I counted five true freshmen that were on the field on defense at the same time, um, which is great. You know, it's great because of the fact that we are in this thing to keep getting better every week and every year. And when you could develop your young kids and your young kids can keep getting better, it'll give you a chance here as the year, as the weeks and the years go on that you're going to be playing with a veteran group at some point. So it was great to get them out there. Did you see what happened on the sideline interference penalty? Uh, yeah, they ran into one of our assistant coaches. Oh. We'll address that. No, I can't remember which one. Can you talk about Singer? He had a couple of great catches in the corner there. Uh, Dorian Singer has a tremendous hands. And he makes those catches in practice every day. It's, uh, he made some in Cal game, uh, some of those tremendous catches. Uh, and he, he happens to just have ball skills that are, are tremendous. So Dorian, um, you know, he had 163 yards. He had his first ever career touchdown um, as a Wildcat. So that was cool. We thought that there was like kryptonite there for a while with the end zone. So it was nice that we got through that barrier. Um, and and he's, he's another one. He practices every single day so many reps. And he just, no matter if he's beat up or sore or hurt or whatever it might be, he's going to fight through it. And he does such a tremendous job of just trying to get better every week. And uh, 163 yards on nine catches and a touchdown is a pretty nice night. Any uh, initial prognosis on Tia Sabea? And also Isaiah Rutherford didn't play tonight. Yeah, uh, Rutherford had a, um, got a bone bruise in his knee at practice. Um, I, I think he's going to truly be a day-to-day. -day. Um, the uh, Tia, I didn't get the final result on what's going on with him. Um, I think he got rolled up on um, up front. Uh, but I don't know what that's going to look like, if that's just a you know, precautionary part of the game or if that's something more than that. Everybody else seemed to walk away healthy from what I understand. What does tonight's game say about Jaden's chemistry with his wide receivers? Uh, Jaden is continuing to get better. Uh, as I like to always say, Jaden has been here for five games. And um, he has been in this offense for only um, since January. He's not ever played in an offense like this before. So if he can continue to make jumps like he's been making, then we're going to have a really good offense. And, um, but we just know that each week we're going to continue to work to get better and uh, hold him to a higher standard next week. You guys talked about going back to fundamentals of tackling and 
being in your gaps? How do you think the linebackers stepped up this week? Um, it looked like everybody, you know, uh, they practiced hard. I think there's probably a lot of things that we need to clean up. Again, you guys know during the game, um, when you're calling the offense, it's hard to be able to really give you exactly what's going on on the other side and whether or not we stayed in our gap on every run. But um, we'll watch the film tomorrow. We'll look at it. But I know that Coach Nansen and the defensive staff worked extremely hard this week to uh, have a good home opener for, the, for us and for Arizona football. And uh, I think we did that in the Pac-12. The play where T-Max threw the ball to Jaden, what was supposed to happen? Not that. Uh, no. <laughs> It's, uh, it was actually a double pass all week long that we talked about throwing to uh, Mike Wiley. And every day, Jaden reminded T-Mac, he said, now don't forget, I'm your check down. And uh, amazingly enough, he was his check down. And uh, Jaden knows what to do in, to get into space. T-Mac is a great football player. Uh, Wiley was covered out of the backfield. And um, T-Mac did a great job of finding Jaden on the sideline. How pleased were you with your team's approach? to this week, a game in which they were heavily favored, you know, Colorado's winless, maybe human nature, you know, might lead them to take them lightly or not as seriously as they needed. Yeah, well, one thing we talked about all week long was we're, we're always the underdog. We're always the underdog. We're Arizona football, we're the underdog. And we like that, we embrace that. And we're not, we're never gonna talk about being a favorite we're never going to talk about any of that stuff. We don't, you know, we don't worry about that type of stuff. We take the mentality of we are going to grind. And um, our philosophy here is to embrace that grind every day and um, not worry about what others think outside of the building. We worry about what we think inside of our building, which is how hard can you work, how good can you get, and can you be better than you were yesterday? How do you assess uh, Isaiah Taylor's performance in place of Jack and Turner's you know, again, I, until I watch the film, I don't have a great answer on that. I did see a great pass breakup, though. How do you think Owen um, McCown for Colorado did his first true road test of the season and of his career? Yeah, um, I, I grabbed him after the game. I thought he did a really nice job. I mean, that is not easy. It's not easy to be a freshman and play quarterback. Um, and I thought that, you know, he made a lot of nice throws and a lot of good decisions. And uh, he battled and, you know, hats off to him and Colorado staff. and. Uh, Coach Durrell did a, did a great job of getting his team ready to come in here and, and, and compete. And uh, I thought with a young quarterback, um, they did a lot of things that they moved the ball that they gave us some great challenges. Last question. What did you make of uh, T-Max one-hitted catch at the end of the first half? Uh, you know, I, I've seen that in practice. Uh, T-Mac is very special, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, he's very talented. He uh, will continue to get better as a player every week, and uh, we'll continue to see him improve each week. Um, as a player, um, as a blocker, and uh, it's fun to watch him, and it's certainly fun to coach him. Okay, thank you.